Welcome back guys, it's your boy Juanito Papito here with another focus video. Alright, so let me tell you a little something about this one here. The reason why we are fixing the Boomba wing risers is because right now it's making this like annoying rattle sound and this is nothing to do with Boomba and the way they made the wing risers. So this is because I went and took my car and had it get painted. So I don't know if you saw my previous video where I told you how someone hit the side of my car. So I had to get that fixed, I got it painted. And the people who did the job took the wing off for some reason to paint a spot on the roof. Cause I had like a scratch up there and I asked them I was like, yo, I know that's not part of like the damages that I initially told you about, but can you like fix this for me? And they're like, yeah, sure, no problem, which they did, and it came out perfect. But for some reason they took off the wing and <clears throat> then they didn't put it back on right. And I went to fix it myself and I realized um, the wing risers, they're like, they're aluminum, so if you don't thread it in right, can just mess it up so that's what happened they messed it up and so the wing risers didn't sit in the right way so there's like a pretty good gap like this big and um, so I'm gonna fix it so I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that online some people have like a hard time putting on the wing risers I'm not sure why but some people do and and they get like little gaps so this is just like a quick cheap little way to fix it so right now we're gonna go to Lowe's and I'm gonna get not the metal spacers but I'm gonna get the rubber spacers because with this I realize there's water getting in and I don't want water getting in and ruining like the hatches of the trunk because you know it's famous on hatchback cars that you know water gets in there when you wash a car or rains or whatever and it ruins it so if you can hear that that's the annoying sound I've been living with been living that with that sound for like maybe a month now But when I drive, it goes away, which is weird. All right, these are the ones I use. Oh, this is the only ones right here. I think I only need one, but they're only $1.27, so I'm going to get two. And we're going to go put this on the car. Quick little detour right now. We are gonna go get the car inspected because it's like 25 days past due inspection. So I gotta go do that. <clears throat> so I got a friend who's gonna hook it up real quick and then we'll be back on the road to go do this. All right guys, <clears throat> we're back in my house now. We're gonna fix this real quick uh long story short it's pretty much gonna be a story for another video um but i couldn't get my car inspected I have a problem with the o2 sensor i already figured out what the problem is so i will get back to you next week about that and i'll show you how to fix that issue that i have with the o2 sensor but right now <clears throat> so here what you want to do is you're going to want to unhook the straps here you want to get this cover out of the way. Then here, you want to pop off this uh, back piece. <clears throat> so you get that cover off first. Then you pop this back piece off. You just gotta pull on it. And let's see. This is with, let's see. This one, I believe. 
So, <coughs> you need an okay. You need a, a socket. You know, you know, you just let these out. So, ooh, this one's my issue here. Just tighten enough. It's like way too loose. Alright, so what I did was I grabbed that washer and I cut it in half. Uh, it was just too thick. So I cut it in half and I put it right there to help like space the bolt out and we're gonna see if that fixes the problem it should in theory All right. it's not gonna look pretty obviously because it's tightening up um, it's gonna god damn why won't this focus uh, that's a little better but it's gonna bend it so, all right, before I put the cover back on and everything, I'm going to take the car for a spin, see if it still has this issue where it makes that sound. It really shouldn't. So, let's hop in and let's see what happens. All right, guys, so, as you can hear, the sound is gone now. Uh, that solved my issue. That's meant to kind of be like a quick fix. i got to find out now if... They messed up the wing riser itself, or if they just didn't install it properly. That's just for now, because I don't have time to go and like take the whole thing apart. You kind of need two people to help you do that, to take the whole thing apart, and to make sure you don't scratch up your car. Or anything. It just makes it easier, <clears throat> and this way you avoid scratching your car or anything like that. Um, the other thing is uh, the wing risers are made of aluminium. Or aluminum however you want to call it um, but so it's pretty easy when you're putting it on to strip it so when you do the wing risers just make sure you don't over tighten any of them you, you got to tighten all of them up just a little bit at a time because uh, if not you know it unbalances it and then you could mess it up so if you were to do that then this is a good permanent fix um, because if not, um, like what they did when they put these back on for me, uh, they messed it up. So water was coming in, into the hatch through there. So you don't want that. Um, so just be careful when you're putting them, taking them on or off because they're made of aluminum. So it's like, it's really easy to strip them and break it because those screws are, are way stronger than the metal that it's going into. Um, also, if you don't put them in right, you can end up bending the metal on your hatch. So, because it'll, it'll flex, you know, the wing is hitting so much air pressure, it's going to flex. And you don't want that, so it, it could bend that. Um, but that's it. That's a quick and simple fix. So, if you found this helpful, useful, educational... Whatever it may be, please feel free to, to drop a like and a sub. If that's your thing, smash it up, tear it up, do what you got to do. Um, we're going to come back to you next week with another video on my oxygen sensor and getting the car inspected. So until then, peace out. Catch you guys later.